when your dog's so deep into her sleep that she can't smell three pieces of salami right in front of her nose. I don't even know what to say. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of support and the amount of people that want to purchase hoodies and t-shirts from us. And at this point, I mean, all I can say is thank you, obviously, but we are very thankful that you all want to do something like that. If you are interested in buying a t-shirt, a decal, there might be hoodies on there and there might be hats on there now, but there may not be also. Give it some time, there will be eventually. All of our merchandise that's in the shop down below is all made in the USA. We will not allow our uh, emblem, our decal, to be put on anything not made in the United States. Um, it's not because we don't like other nations, it's just like in our, in our Welcome to Freedom Farms video, right? All of you that wanna support us because of our farm, great. But there's a lot of you also that want to support us because I'm a soldier. And I greatly appreciate it, and I don't know what else to tell you other than I want to support you, and I want to support businesses here in our country. I will only purchase USA-made fencing. I will only purchase USA-made T-posts for our fencing. I will only purchase USA-made uh, wooden, the corner posts that we make, right? The barn, when we build our new barn, it will be made with United States products. I do it because I love this nation, right? It's nothing against other nations. I honestly, I think that other nations should do the same thing within their borders. It creates a very, there's a feeling that you just can't, I can't completely describe to you. But whenever I make something or complete something like all this fencing and knowing that it was all made here in the United States, it makes me feel good because I'm supporting neighbors. I'm supporting neighboring states. I'm supporting people that live in this country that have supported me for the last 13 years of my military service and that are gonna to continue to support me in my next six years until I retire. I appreciate it greatly. I am very thankful for you and I wanna make sure that you get a product that you can be proud of too. So I'm saying that, it's the only time I'm gonna rant about it, so to speak. If you're interested in merchandise, there's a link down in the description now, click it. It'll take you to, the, to our shop and you can purchase whatever you want. If you don't want to purchase anything, please do not feel obligated. I want you to keep watching and still enjoy the channel. So those of you that wanted to, to purchase apparel though, we made it happen. It's there for you. Enjoy it. Buy as many as you want or buy as few as you want. But at the end of the day, thank you. We greatly appreciate you purchasing any merchandise in order to support us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today we're actually going to, so you've seen us put T-posts in, the T-posts don't, uh, you can't use them as corner posts, you could with brackets, but they're still really not the best setup for corner posts. So we have wooden posts that we actually drive into the ground with the post driver, it's on the back of the tractor right now, you saw us pick it up earlier from Mr. Keevan. Um, we're going to sharpen the ends of our, t of our wooden post, and like a pencil almost basically, it'd be like a giant pencil. The blunt end of the post will be up top. The sharpened end will be at the bottom, obviously, and then the post driver will just smack it and it'll essentially ram it into the ground. So stay tuned, you'll see that here shortly. Right now I gotta sharpen some post up. We're back to marriage counseling again. So she's gonna help so we can put these posts in. You can do it with one person, but it takes a lot longer. And it's kind of a little more dangerous because you're putting fingers where something's sliding past. Not the best of ideas. So. Hi. <laughs>
Let's see what you can write with your pencil. You got plenty of them. I'm supposed to write with it. Oh, George, you're wet, dude. That's a good answer, I guess. thin walled and it's very hard to weld it because you get it too hot and you go through it and you burn through it um, so like I said it's not a not an ideal situation for welding but we got a little leak right there so what I'm gonna do is actually it was a big leak I just wiped it off but I'm gonna uh, use the air compressor I'll blow as much residue from the hydraulic fluid off as I can then I'll use brake cleaner these things happen when stuff is old but what are you gonna do him out to uh, deal with more of this special case so he ground everything down got it looking pretty and we're pretty sure this one right here is our, our leak but he's gonna touch it all up looks like there he is right there old welder of the century oh yeah
Makes it a lot easier if you have a driver for the tractor, because then you don't have to try to mess with that and align this. And then go back up there to move it back and forth, and then come back over here. Real pain in the butt. It helps if they're pretty, but they don't have to be. They could be ugly. All right, so Chrissy's gonna pull. She's gonna turn our remote on. And then she's gonna rev the tractor up so we have more uh, hydraulic pressure. And all I do is I pull back on this and it'll lift this sliding mechanism up. And then when I release the pressure, it slams down and it puts probably around a thousand pounds of force into that post. So the big posts like these, these are six and eight inch posts. It takes a little more effort. The smaller ones that we put in areas that aren't, that don't necessarily need to be as strong, those take a lot less effort, but they also don't hold as much weight. So if you're trying to pull a fence real tight, those aren't necessarily the ones you want. The noise you hear right here is the relief valve inside of this valve body. It's letting all the pressure fly by until I pull this out. Then it was lifted up, it's already up. So this one right here, all this doing, this is allowing me to shift this forward or backwards because depending on the terrain, it's going to be a real pain in the butt because your tractor might be on really uneven terrain. This allows you to put one in on whatever terrain you're at. It gives you quite a bit of camber or tilt. This one right here is going to allow me to move back and forth from side to side. This one wouldn't go in quite as far, but that's okay. That one's about the same way. More than likely, like I said, there's probably some sort of rock or something that that just can't push through. It puts a lot of force on it, so if this isn't pushing it through it, I'm not gonna push it past it. So I'll have Chrissy pull up. So even me pushing on this, it barely moves. So once I put my cross brace on, either making an H or the diagonal from the top of this one down to the bottom of that one or vice versa, then it'll be, uh, I mean, it'll be solid. It's solid right now, but like I said, if you pull on this, eventually it gets saturated again like it's been this spring and then it'll start leaning and it'll take all that tension off your fence. So let's do the next one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I made a mistake and didn't record uh, the rest of the fence the post driving but that's okay there'll be more in the future so again if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button if you like the video please hit the like button help us to show others what we do here other than that have a blessed week thank you see you next time